I'm Jerry Fork. We're gonna do a coffee grinder machine um, demonstration with Don Pablo coffee. And this is the bourbon infused coffee. Um, so um, my wife and I just tried this out last night just to kind of see what's all involved and how how it goes, you know. So um, we got a little bit of an idea of how to use it. We wanted to get gauged on here. There's certain um, gauges that show um, for like find grind, you know, medium grind um, and coarse. So we found that four on the dial, see right here. <clears throat> There's a dial up here that you can set it on and then you can set how long for it to, to grind up here each time. So you push it, it goes for 10 seconds if that's what you set it for. So uh, <clears throat> um, so this here was gifted to, um, to us um, by some nice people recently. So um, uh, and then I got this coffee also um, from, uh, uh, Don, uh, got this from some nice people too. This is Don, uh, from Don Pablo Company. Um, so, um, it's whole bean. So, um, so coincidentally, we got, we got a coffee grinder from some, <laughs> from somebody for, for grinding coffee. So, um, so here we go. So, um, we haven't opened, I haven't opened this yet. I've been, uh, waiting to make sure that I kind of know how to use this first. So, uh, this is, um, <clears throat> Don Pablo Coffee Growers and Roasters Bourbon Infused Specialty Whole Bean Coffee. All right. Um, let's see. I won't read this um, now because this is it's about the about the coffee, but yet it's a it's a demonstration about this too. So um, let's um, let's go ahead and let's get this open. That aroma is amazing. You can you can actually smell the bourbon in there. That is that is wild. And with the the coffee, coffee and and bourbon mixed, it's almost like you can smell the alcohol in there too. It's 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 pretty wild. Okay. All right. So let's pour. Let's pour some in there. Um, this has a measuring, this is kind of like a measuring cup. It has a fill mark on it right inside there. You see it right there in the back. <clears throat> so you can fill it to that mark. Let's see, I'm not gonna go that far. I'm just gonna put in about, about that much, just kind of below it. For the first first time of grinding this. <clears throat> I don't think I'm doing this right. There. That worked. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so, <clears throat> so we're gonna pour this in there. This has a dial inside here. It's like a locking mechanism. You turn it, it shows on here. You, you turn it one way um, and it comes off and you can get to the blades and clean in there, or take it out or change the blades or whatever. Um, so 
this fits on here like this. And it's got a little a little clip inside there. See that? You just push this on there. It's a real it's real easy and uh, you almost don't even feel it latching. Sometimes you wonder if it does. <laughs> Okay, so now take your lid. <clears throat> there it goes. Okay, so still set on 10 seconds. So here we go. Let's go to 15 seconds. Okay. The cup vibrated away from the platform. I guess it wasn't hooked in there good enough. Did not know that. That's why I said it's, it's, it doesn't clip in there like real tight. It, um, I don't have any idea if that's a faulty mechanism or not, or if that happens just on a regular basis. Um, but you're supposed to hear a little click. Just a, a soft click, and I just don't hear it. I don't know. Yeah, it's one of those things that's kind of got to work out. Until then, just kind of hold it in place just to make sure it doesn't vibrate away wave again. down 10 seconds. There you go. Of course, when it starts making that noise, you know you're, you got them done. I made a lot because I plan on drinking this for a little while. Um, I'm going to do a coffee review after I kind of show you a little bit more about this machine here. Um, so, let me just kind of set this aside. Now for this coffee, <clears throat> the directions, let's see. How to brew the perfect cup of bourbon coffee. Traditional drip machine, which is what I have, add two level, measure, two level measuring tablespoons of finely ground coffee, fine granular sand, not yet a powder. So that's what we discovered that the four setting for us would get us to that point just how how you need it for this Let me show you okay all right <clears throat> 
not yet a powder, to each six ounce cup of water. All right. Um, let's see, hand drip method, add two level measuring tablespoons of medium fine ground coffee to each six ounces of cup of water, six ounce cup of water. Okay, heat water to 190 to 195 degrees Fahrenheit, 88 to 90.5 Celsius degrees. Pre-soak grounds slowly and water in a clockwise motion. At, hmm, adjust to taste. That's interesting. Um, and then directions for a French press too. Um, so there you go. Okay, I'll read some more about this kind of stuff on the on the actual review, but. Uh, so this machine is called a Oxo Brew uh, Conical Burr Coffee Grinder. Uh, additional features, one touch start, stainless steel conical burrs, powerful DC motor, precise settings from fine to coarse, mess free hopper, UV blocking tint, stainless steel static fighting grounds container. So there you go, it's a neat, it's a neat machine. Never had one of these type of things before. Um, never grounded my own coffee before. So this has been a, a real experience um, for us to kind of learn how to how to do this. Um, but, uh, oh man, this coffee smells wild. <laughs> okay. Um, not really that much more to, to say about it. Um, <clears throat> you adjust it by turning this top part I think no wait a minute no this part no this part yeah so you turn the top plastic container to the adjust to adjust it where you want it okay so there you go and uh, you know there's you know directions about you know safety features that you'll want to read you know when you purchase one of those um, but uh, this is uh, it's a nice model. It's really nice Okay, well, I'm gonna end it there. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it Let me know if you have one of these um, If you have any tips or hints or anything like that about these machines if you know why This doesn't like really oh See now right there. It it's grabbed it grabbed a little bit better. I Don't know what I did different there than I didn't do the other time, but uh it's, it's grabbed, it, it's holding in place better. So, uh, there you go. Okay, well I thank you all for watching, I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next, next one. <laughs> all right, bye.